flip phones. Ooh. I'm gonna buy a phone. Okay, I don't know which key it is, so bear with me, okay? Yeah. Which one? The simple mobile one. No, I know which one phone you want. A few moments later. Uh, the... This one? Yeah. Hey, Sarah. I don't want to slide it, he might get offended by that. <laughs> I'm joking. You know, sir? Uh, that's it. Alright, have a good day. You too. Are you getting that phone? No, I'm getting a phone for my little bro. Your little brother? Yes. Do you like that phone? Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to figure out something like a prepaid phone. Is that a prepaid? I'm not a. Do prepay. I'm just gonna buy the actual phone. Oh, just you want to use for Wi Fi? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Thirty-five and like a uh, couple quarters here. some change of clothes and here it is the phone um some people might not know what this phone is but let me show you how much i spend but yeah a few taxes um it came up to 37.88 like you saw earlier this right this phone right here is the tcl a1 it's a $35 smartphone from Simple Mobile, and it says powered by T-Mobile, and I'm using a T-Mobile um, carrier, so let's see if this phone works with my SIM card, but yeah, a lot of stuff, truly unlimited, let me get a higher angle a little bit, hold up. Alright, here's a higher angle, yeah, nothing much. I didn't pay any prepaid or anything, but yeah, uh, so let's unbox it. So, man, always unboxings. I never have my knife ready. <sighs> Why this happens every time? Okay, here it is. 
so nothing special about this phone uh, besides the price being 35 bucks um, and apparently it's hard to open there we go covering that really strong with the pieces First time I ever unboxed a prepaid phone. And we got some manuals that I'm not going to activate. This is in Spanish and English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh. So let's go to the phone. Cover comes off. Here's the phone itself, and no plastic, no cover in the back. So let's find that. Another one, and there's the battery cover. This little card, the instruction book booklet, and a waterproof bag for whatever reason. The simple mobile paper, nobody cares. The charger and the battery because this thing has a removable battery. Um, take a look at the battery. So as you can see, TCL, it says right there. And fun fact, uh, some of the TCL phones are actually manufactured by Akatel. So if you use an Akatel phone, um, this one's might be based on an Apple phone, but let's see the charger. Now there was another phone um, before this called the TCL XL, which is just a Acatel based phone, but this phone does not have any TCL branding. It's just blank. It's like a unbranded. Uh, charger probably not the one to show that this is an Acatel phone, but but just so you know, this phone might be an Acatel based phone. I don't know what phone that is based this phone, but yeah, and this one use micro USB and not really good quality. But hey, what how much can you complain for a uh, $35 device and the back cover which really cheap but you can probably replace the back cover if it ever gets damaged and there's this symbol thing almost look like a track phone whatever So here's the phone. Let's remove the plastic here. Let me use this right here to save some of the plastic. So the camera. And I don't know if I might could be returning this. And wait, what is that? A SIM card. Let's just put this back. There's also a micro SDs. Uh, put this battery here. And right here on top, there's the white sticker for water damage indicator. Pretty typical. Snaps back. The XL that I saw in a few videos um, never had a plastic back cover. And it's around this price so let's take off the plastic for a well, satisfying moment satisfying and it has the the same sticker like the ipod touches box but here it is so pretty narrow phone and it has some corners but just because it has corners it doesn't 
mean it has rounded corners. I'll show you what I mean. Wait, right, there is TCL. Hello, guys. Yeah, so bottom charge port, which is off center. So it's not even in center. You got the charger like off, uh, like on the side right here. Kind of awkward. There's a headphone jack. Here, I think it's a five megapixel camera with a flash, power, and phone. Track phone? I thought the bot say simple. Simple, uh, simple mobile. What? That's weird. Um, switching to carrier. Hold up. Let me show you the box because this is really awkward. Because it's so obvious right here. It says simple mobile and it's showing track phone. This is kind of the similar problem with when Plain Rock 124 bought two phones for his board smashing grocery store phones, like an LG versus a Nakatel. And it says Net 10, but when he turned on, it says track phone, which is really weird. But as you can see, specs here five inch, five inch touchscreen, Android 8.1 Oreo, five megapixel camera with two megapixel in front, Wi Fi calling, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Really weird. And yeah, I mean, viewing angle is not great, but not too bad. Okay. Uh, yep, that annoying. In the previous of Android, you turned off access to your location. Oh, gone. Yeah, that does not sound nice. <laughs> Almost sound like uh, those really old school sounds. Let me put my Wi-Fi. This is so bad. Hey, at least when I'm typing on the keyboard, it doesn't make those crappy noises, but... Oh, well, when you hit connect, it does make that sound. And it's still doing that. Oh my god. <laughs> I probably forgot the password. Yeah, give me a moment, guys, because uh, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, got the password. Forgot. Wi-Fi requires, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But see, oh my god. But um, if you can see right here, the rounded corners are fake. You can see like it's really squared when it's rounded. See there? Yeah, that's completely fake. Okay, I don't. I don't freaking need nine one one calling. All right, uh, let me just skip this because I don't need this now. I'll probably turn off those annoying sounds. Joe Smith, yeah, let's write Joe Smith. I don't know. I'll just call the... There's no biometrics in this phone, but 
What could you expect for 35 bucks? I accept. Um, no thanks. Oh my god. How much of a nightmare can this be? And there it is. Skip. What's with the calling error? But there it is. The. Oh my god. No. Okay. But there it is. Um... So it's running stock Android, which is not bad. Considering this phone's for 35. Unable to connect. Okay, forget about disabling Wi-Fi calls. But yeah, um, there's the track phone account. Why? This is a simple mobile. But yeah, I don't care about your stupid Wi-Fi calling. Well, it comes to Facebook pre-installed. My site? Why even is that? Um, my God. Okay. It sounds really stupid with this really um, hideous sound when you touch. There we go. So yeah, um, so yeah, um, so not too bad. It is, like I said, almost stock Android, which is surprising because I wasn't expecting for a phone like this because usually these cheap phones um are really full of crappy bloatware and i think this one has 16 gigs of storage but it used a whole four gigs um yeah out of 16 gigabytes but there's a micro sd and let's See how bright it can go. Yeah, um, not the brightest. If you tilted, it's a TF TFT display. is not good. As you can see, it's looking very terrible. It reminds me of one of those iPhone 3GSs from years ago, but it's 35 bucks, so it's really not that bad. Um, yeah. So loading YouTube. As you can see, not too bad. Really cool. I think it's a neat phone. For the price, it's not too bad. What the heck is that hand thingy? But yeah, um, this thing does not have the most hungry specs in the world. Um, but yeah. But yeah, uh, nothing amazing about this phone. Yeah. Hey, and at least didn't have that really weird button for the app drawer. But yeah, um, that was for this phone. I will probably review this, um, make a review, like a, f a two week review. And I'm planning to do a one month review of my iPod Touch. So, um, here it is, my iPod Touch. Uh, yeah. I will explain that on the review day of how this dent got on my 7 gen ipod but um yeah yeah there's a lot of stuff here let me just clear those hold up uh, why is it itunes always yeah um I'll make a review of this. I have downloaded a few games. I'll make a review. How is it for the iPod Touch? 
and yeah the screen on this is a ton better than this but anyway and i have this very uh this blue case made for the fifth gen ipod and there's a screen protector on it so that's why it's kind of cracked right here but it did not crack the ipod but i'll make a review in a future video anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i hope a, i hope you have a great day if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and this phone took a lot of chunk of my savings so please leave a like please because oh my gosh i spend a chunk of my savings you just saw that little montage little clip that was just buying the phone yeah anyway thank you so much for watching see you in the next video peace